This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. It's time for our Oscar predictions! Oh, please don't play us off! From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. <laughs> so, it's time for the annual Oscar prediction show. Yeah. <laughs> we have our system for this, which is, we don't see any of the nominated films. <laughs> yeah, unless we accidentally happen uh, to see one yeah. during the year. Yeah, we don't make a point of it. Yeah. And we see who won the awards leading up to the Oscars. Mm-hmm. And then, finally, we see who has the most buzz, mm-hmm. I guess. Now, there are Oscar unofficial rules. Yes. <laughs> if you died, you're in. Mm-hmm. Uh, biopics basically rule. Mm-hmm. Portraying an illness works well. Or ugly. Or ugly, yes. Especially pretty boys made up ugly or pretty girls made up ugly. That's Oscar mm-hmm. bait. Monable nominations without a win will help you if you mm-hmm. had previous nominations. And I think this is the next point you have is um, going to affect next year's Oscar right. really, really heavily. Yeah, because we have the Oscars So White issue going on. We'll see how it impacts the event in the future. I think you will see some, some changes there. Mm-hmm. But let's get started with Best Supporting Actor and Actress. Now, again, I have not seen any of the movies in this category. Right. Supporting Actor. Christian Bale for The Big Short. Tom Hardy for The Revenant. Mark Ruffalo for Spotlight. Mark Rylance for Bridge of Spies, and Sylvester Stallone for Creed. Are there any of those movies you are interested in seeing? Not particularly. Okay. Maybe The Big Short. Maybe. Mm -hmm. So uh, we go with who uh, won uh, a previous one of the the run-up awards, Mm -hmm. (laughs) the preliminaries. Sylvester Stallone won the Golden Globe and the Critics' Choice. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, while Mark Rylance uh, won the New York Critics uh, uh, Choice Awards. And this is interesting, Idris Elba, for Beasts of No Nation, won the SAG Award. But of course, he hasn't been nominated. Right. So we went ahead and both picked... (laughs) Sylvester Stallone. Yeah. Um, He hasn't really won it since um, the first Rocky movie. Right, and he's really a sentimental favorite, which is another unofficial rule out there, sentimental favorite. Mm-hmm. Supporting actress, Jennifer Jason Leigh for The Hateful Eight, Mooney, M- Rooney Mara for Carol, Rachel McAdams for Spotlight, Alicia Vikander for The Jan- Danish Girl, and Kate Winslet for Steve Jobs. Now, this is kind of all over the map here. <laughs> Kate Winslet won Golden Globe. Right, and Alicia won for Vikander won the um, Critics' Choice. And the SAG Award. And the SAG Award. And that's who I'm picking. Uh, they tend to go with ingenues for this. <laughs> so that's why I'm picking that. But I said Steve Jobs because it is a biopic. And sometimes they like biopics a lot. That's true. That's true. Biopics. Yeah. Uh, you got a po- good point. By the way, Kristen Stewart for Clouds of Sills Maria was the New York Critics uh, Choice winner. <laughs> New York's Critics Choice is becoming less and less of an indicator. Mm-hmm. But uh, there's one that is pretty much across the board. This is the, you can put all your money on this. The lock is best animated feature. Uh, Golden Globe, Critics' Choice, Producers Guild, New York Critics, Inside Out, and we picked that for both of us. Yes, and I I wouldn't mind if, um, say, Anomalisa won. Right. Because we backed the Kickstarter for that one. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, but I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. Best Original Song. This is uh, one that neither of us are really all that up on at all. Because <laughs> yeah. we didn't see any of the movies. And... and really, none of these are getting much buzz at all. No. I mean, I haven't heard any of these played. I mean, there's nothing like from a Disney movie or anything. So. Right, right. So we have Earned It from Fifty Shades of Grey, Manta Ray, Racing Extinction, Simple Song Number 3 from Youth, Till It Happens to You, The Hunting Ground, and Writings on the Wall, Spectre. And that was the James Bond movie, right? Right, and that was the one that won the Golden Globe uh, Mm -hmm. for for Best Original Song. And the Critics' Choice was See You Again from Inside Out, another one that wasn't even in the Oscar Mm -hmm. set. Uh, So, you picked... I did Fifty Shades of Grey, I think just because the um, Oscar people are going to see the name of the movie and (laughs) say... 
hey, I know that movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really. And I picked uh, Writings on the Wall from Spectre, mostly because of the Golden Globe. And and really, traditionally, James Bond movies have won a lot of um, music well. awards. Yeah. Best Director. We have Adam McKay, The Big Short, George Miller for Mad Max Fury Road, Alejandro G. Inaratu, The Revenant, Lenny Abrahamson, The Room, or actually Room, room. it's not The Room. Oh, hi. No, it's not that one. <laughs> it's Room. And Tom McCarthy for Spotlight. Now we have Golden Globe went to Inaratu, and the Critics' Choice went to Mad Max. And we split on this. Mm -hmm. uh, you picked Inaratu. Yeah, I think The Revenant, just because um, of the type of movie it is, is going to be winning more awards. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because it's costume, it's historical, it's pretty boy getting, uh, getting uh, looking bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I did pick... George Miller for Mad Max. And I'd really like to see that win, right. but I don't think it's going to. Yeah, I, I'm probably wrong on that. Now, just as an aside, you know, Spotlight was nominated for an awful lot, and it did win some of the Critics' Awards. Um, not in this category, but in other categories. Right. But I think really because that was a movie that was based on journalism, that some of the journalists are going to pick that over yes. some of the actors yeah. And, yeah. and the, the, the um, entertainment industry. I think you're right. And by the way... Todd Haynes for Carol was the New York Critics' Choice winner. So again, New York's Critics' Choice becoming less and less of, a, of an indicator. Best Actor and Actress. We start with Best Actor. Brian Cranston for Trumbo. Matt Damon for The Martian. Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio for The Revenant. Michael Fassbender for Steve Jobs. And Eddie Redmayne for The Danish Girl. Now see, traditionally you might pick Eddie Redmayne for The Danish Girl because, you know, of the type of role it is. Mm -hmm. But he won for doing the uh, um, Stephen Hawking movie. Right, yeah. So he's already won his award for yes. doing something, you know, off the wall. Yeah. So he's out. Yeah, I would say so. And considering that uh, Golden Globe, Critics' Choice, and SAG winner was Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio, there's a big thing about, well, he's never won. and mm -hmm. He's been in the industry so, so long. long. This is but... the, you know, thanks for playing award yeah. kind of. It's like, well, this may not have been your best, but we feel like at this point we need to give you one. So yeah. we're, we're both picking DiCaprio for that. Then we have Kate Blanchett for Carol, Brie Larson for Room, Jennifer Lawrence for Joy, Charlotte Rampling for 45 years, and Saoirse Ronan for Brooklyn. Now, see, I think that although I think um, Charlotte Rampling might have stood a chance before her comments about Oscar So White, yes. I think anybody that voted after that was not going to vote for her because they were afraid she'd win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so uh, Golden Globe, Critics' Choice, uh, and SAG all went for Brie Larson. And New York, New York critics went to Saoirse Ronan. We're both picking Brie Larson. I think this is another one of those blocks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's what's going to happen. And by the way, Michael Keaton for Spotlight was the New York Critics Association winner. Mm -hmm. All right, we move on to finally Best Picture. We have now. I'm gonna, well. First, let me read you the, the names, and mm -hmm. then we'll go into one of the next thing. The Big Short. Bridge of Spies, Brooklyn, Mad Max Fury Road, The Martian, The Revenant, Room, and Spotlight. Now, Big Short won, uh, in terms of Best Picture, won the Critics' Choice and the Producers Guild. Martian won Golden Globe. For the, comedy. For comedy, by the way, because that wacky comedy, yeah. the, the, the Martian. The Revenant uh, won Golden Globe for drama, and Spotlight won... Critics' Choice, uh, the SAG Award, and the prestigious Central Ohio Film Critics' Choice Award. <laughs> uh, the other thing to keep in mind is what other awards they won. The Big Short, in terms of other categories, won three Critics' Choice and one Producers Guild. Mad Max won nine Critics' Choice, mostly the technical categories, mm -hmm. and one SAG Award. The Martian won two Golden Globes. The Revenant won three Golden Globes, two Critics' Choice, and one SAG Award. 
uh, the room, sorry, room, <laughs> won one Golden Globe, and two Critics' Choice, and one SAG Award. Mm -hmm. And Spotlight won three Critics' Choice and one SAG Award. Mm -hmm. And Carol, who's not even on the list, <laughs> was the um, New York Critics' Choice winner. Exactly. And considering the fact that it won the Golden Globe, uh, considering the fact that as we said before, it's a co it's a costume drama. It's historical. It's pretty boy. It does looks ugly, and gets beaten up. We're both going with Revenant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I I'm not saying I think I it should win or anything. And obviously, having never seen the movies, right? But just there's a process of elimination as well. Um, the Big Short, a lot of people found was very um, confusing, right? Regarding this subject matter. Yeah. And Brooklyn is just basically a romance. Right. Well, considering and that Bridge of Spies, Brooklyn, neither of those won any yeah. other awards. And then Mad Max, nobody, they never give it. No. With the exception being, you know, the Lord of the Rings movies. Right. They would never nominate An a, action, science fiction, it, not yeah. going to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And basically the same reason for Martian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, not to mention the Martian is, you know, just really Matt Damon playing Matt Damon. And, yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and there was so much controversy about it winning the Golden Globe for comedy. Mm -hmm. They were like, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they really, yeah. These awards really mean absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm, just, I, I'm just saying. Oh, absolutely. They mean absolutely nothing. But it's fun to fun to pick them out. But yeah, yeah absolutely, it's not worth anything. Mm -hmm. So so there's the deal. There's our picks. <laughs> and maybe we will go watch some of them when they come out on video or streaming maybe. or whatever maybe. but probably not yeah. <laughs> meantime you can check out our audio podcast How I Got My Wife Treat Comics on iTunes or on our website sfpodcastnetwork.com from the Pop Publisher Bunker I'm Mindy and I'm Mark thanks for watching bye bye